If you visit the Wynyard Quarter in Auckland, you will see some absolutely amazing structures like this one behind me. Now, we don't really know what it is. It's just a piece of architecture and something for people to sort of admire and maybe children to play around. There's a nice little lake here and there's a few birds and ducks or some other tweety creatures, I think. There's also a bit of a playground area with swings and I think like a uh, mini basketball court. Yeah, it's seagulls and they are having their morning bath. And I've said this on another episode, but just look at the tail feathers. These seagulls are so pretty and they're so clean as well. Maybe it's because they uh, flap around in the water so much and the water, of course, is clean here too. A few more coming in. Is it bath time? Having your morning shower? <whistles> this beacon was erected by the Auckland Harbour Board to record the services of those members of its staff whose names are engraved above, who voluntarily gave their all in the cause of liberty and freedom at the call of the mother country in the Great World War of 1914. Fancy taking a walk on the tidal steps? I think you need giant's feet to go down there. Look at this building over here. It's made of fish and from the distance it can look like a whole shoal. Hey, I like popping out just like you would get when you subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's Paul and Marcus. Thank you. So this toilet is decorated with various New Zealand birds. And when we were on our trolley tour, the lady did say what many of them were. Well, there's a very handy guide to the birds in here. There's the Tarapuka black-billed gull, Kuaka, bar-tailed godwit, Kara Haruchi Kawao, the peed shag, the waro, welcome swallow, the kaka, the kokako blue wattled crow, Pukeko purple Swamp Hen, Karoro, Southern Black Backed Gull, Toria, Oyster Catcher, and Pakaha, a fluttering shearwater.
I am going to go to the loo again. Some things should really be set in stone, such as subscribing to our YouTube channel. It's Paul and Marcus. Let's take a look at these lovely gardens. This garden is cared for by Gary. That's lavender, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, it looks like a mini thistle to me. I don't know. So each little garden plot is cared for by a different person, mm -hmm. which is a really nice idea. And it's great that people do, in general, care for these gardens, not just the people looking after them, but if this was in the UK, you could be assured that they would just be like ripped up. Mm. I found something. This teaching garden is cared for by Sue. So I think Sue might be the teacher. So it says, we grow to eat healthy food we have grown ourselves, learn about sustainability and regenerative farming, preserve gardening skills to inspire the next generation and support local charities. And it also says that you're welcome to pick a little, but only from boxes with a green marker. Boxes with a red marker are not ready to eat or are reserved for a special purpose. If you like our channel so far, why not hit the subscribe button on YouTube? So it looks like we have arrived at Victoria Park. Let's go and take a look. We have a sculpture of a train here. It says homage to Will, sculptor, sponsor New Zealand Railways. Victoria Park is mostly used for recreation activities. There are playing fields, cricket wickets, a children's playground and a skateboard park, among other things. What's this, Paul, you've discovered in the park? So, I have seen these things before where you use these brushes to brush off any soil and any other things that might contaminate the area. I've seen quite a few of them actually. I didn't really know what they were because some of them were darker in color, but it goes to show to um, clean your footwear. The trees in Victoria Park are mostly oak. Well, I think that it's very good that people are using the facilities. I think that they're playing, what, cricket over there or something? Or... Yeah, it's a sort of um, a wicked area where you can learn to 
take a few hits. And then there's that person who's ring fencing this central area for something. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not really sure what that is. There is a basketball area in the back right here and towards my front over here there are skateboarding rinks. And as we said, everything is being used to some sort of degree. Well, I think that it is good to be active and to stay moving. And look, there are Maori statues here at the skate park. A New Zealand tradition is eating pies. So we are going to try out a couple here and we're both having the same kind because, well, we're hungry, we're hungry and we like the look of it. So we both have a prime steak Dad dad's pie. pie. So let's see what daddy can provide today. 